people, listen up. Only six shopping days left till my birthday, and I'm gonna have to lay down some ground rules. <laughs> this can't happen again. <laughs> Agnes, are you listening? <laughs> and if any of you are even thinking about making a donation in my name to some dumb charity, think again. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, better you have another facial than a Guatemalan child have a shoe. Hey, Susan. I bought you a little something. Oh, look, Oliver, I, I really think that we should keep this professional between us. You, uh, you allow me. Not. Now, you're a very attractive man. And she likes you well enough. But see, you didn't have one too many girlfriends for her taste, and she cannot get hurt again. So what you need to do is you need to take your little gift bag and move on. It's a donut. Oh, well, that's different. Uh-uh, girl. Stick to your guns. Hey, Nate. Fuck her up. You're about to kiss me. The San Francisco cheerleaders are holding open auditions, and you get to cover it. Imagine breasts, buttocks, and thighs. Now imagine them all sweaty and bouncing. That's what I see every time I run up a flight of stairs. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, you know, I, I write about football players, not the airheads who distract them. Good luck, Nate. What are you going to write about? How vapid women like to talk when they undress in the locker rooms? Hey, locker rooms, undressing, vapid women. The story practically writes itself, which means it's perfect for Susan. I'd like a first draft on my desk by Tuesday. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. I have a traumatic history with cheerleaders. I tried out in high school and I didn't make the squad. They made me the gopher mascot. It'd be really painful if I had to write this. Let me see. Your editor-in-chief wants you to write an article on cheerleading, and you'd rather not. However, will our little conundrum play itself out? <laughs> chances are of making the squad pretty good I mean look around all I see is mascot material <laughs> you know I'm just an objective reporter but I'd say the mascots are just as important as the stuck-up vindictive cheerleaders um I don't think I want to be interviewed anymore Wow, sounds like somebody's bringing a little baggage to the job. I'm just a little frustrated. I don't know my angle on this story yet. Well, I, look, when I go to shoot the Grand Canyon, you think I know what the picture's gonna be before I get there? My money's on that big hole in the ground. <laughs> what I do is I live with this subject. I become one with it, and eventually the picture reveals itself. Or else I buy slides at the gift shop when I try to pawn them off as my own. All right, I'll keep an open mind. Great, and if it turns out well, maybe you can keep an open mind too other areas of your personal life. You're right. Maybe I will go to dinner with that beefy woman who delivers water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tryouts start in three minutes. Have you filled out all your paperwork? Uh, uh, no, no, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm really just Here. actually right, writing. Get it to your leotard. You know you are already in my doghouse, Zena. Sorry, no lucky lose. No, I'm here to shoot the tryouts, and she's... Very happy to be here. Yes, I'm so sorry. I'm not in my clothes yet. They're in the car. I'll be ready in two minutes. Make it one. <laughs> I just found my angle. I am going to go undercover as a would-be cheerleader trying out. I will live among them. I will infiltrate their lifestyle. Ooh, sounds dangerous. <laughs> you aren't kidding. I haven't washed my workout clothes in a week. <laughs> And when we all collapsed in the steam room after seven grueling hours, it finally hit me. Cheerleaders' abs and thighs are as strong as any lineman's, and their grace and agility are right up there with the best wide receivers. So the next time you see a cheerleader celebrating when the wrong team scores, cut her some slack. She might not be dumb, she might just be really tired. <laughs> so? Strong thigh cheerleaders collapsing in the steam room? I love it. Do you really, really love it? Well, somewhere between really love it and really, really love it. 
But if you round it off to the next highest really, then indeed I really, really love it. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad I stuck with it. And to think I made the first cut. Yeah, it was a great payoff, but it left me wanting more. So give me another 500 words on the callbacks, OK? Just make sure two of the words are nubile and glistening. Good news, Susan. Only 498 words to go. Yeah, uh, Susan, I must say that your imagery was very compelling. Yeah, that part about the playful antics in the steam room amidst the thick clouds of vapors. It's as if someone could just linger there undetected. Regardless of gender. Would you say that's true? <clears throat> yeah, I gotta admit, it's very sexual and provocative, and who says you gotta write what you know? <laughs> no, no, that's pure keen. And I enjoy doing it. I'm very proud I made the cut. And someday, I hope to use my position as a cheerleader to end world hunger, and save the rainforest, and find a cure for those who suffer from split ends. <laughs> Nate, just because I scored on a story that you passed on does not mean you have to be a sourpuss. I thought I was done with airheads when I dumped my ex-wife, and then you come down with a case of cheer fever. I might as well get the other half of my paycheck to you. For the last time, stop comparing me to your ex-wife. I wrote a great story. Yes, she did. And Ian loved it. Yes, he did. Okay? So let me enjoy the moment, all right? There is nothing wrong with cheerleading, understand? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> finally revealed itself to you, and it appears to be Brandy's ass. I'm sorry, have I met you? I haven't had a chance to meet all the hopefuls. Is that pickup line number 72 from the Oliver Brown catalog? No, number 72 is, does my tongue taste funny? <laughs> okay, everybody, gather around. And now, here to announce our five finalists, captain of the San Francisco cheerleaders, Miss Claire Tevens. I know what you're all thinking right now. Will I be chosen? Do I have that Cisco girl intangible? <laughs> well, let me tell you a little story about a girl. A girl with flat feet and flyaway hair. A girl whose high school coach told her she didn't have what it takes to cheer at the professional level. But this girl had something special. It's a little thing we call heart. And now that woman is standing before you today. Uh, she's talking about herself. <laughs> and now here are the five finalists. Shelly Williams. Oh, yeah! Rhonda Thompson. Tiffany J. <laughs> Brandy Sims, pending the urine test. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, Brandy. Okay, we've got one more name. Aren't you nervous? <laughs> no. I don't care if I make the cut. No. It's not like I need this to heal any emotional wounds left over from being a high school reject. Susan Key! <laughs> Two of your cheerleading article. Yes. Boring. 
Been there, done that. Thank God for the tickle fights. There weren't any tickle fights. There will be when we go to press tomorrow. Anyway, on to the next issue. I'll need some new ideas by this afternoon. Okay? Well, actually, I have one right now. I have a whole new angle on the cheerleading story. Oh, the cheerleading article I've grown so weary of. Please continue. You don't understand. Now that I've made the final five, it's a whole new animal. Susan, if I wanted to hear the same story over and over again, I'd visit my Auntie Pym at Restful Pines. <laughs> new ideas. Okay, yep, you got it then. New ideas, coming right up. Here I go. And go, and go, and go, and go, and go. And reach, reach, down, down, and shoulder bump, and shoulder bump, and pivot one, pivot two. How badly do you want it? I want it! Hey, oh, is this the layout on my cheerleading story? Yes, that is the layout on our cheerleading story. Mm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to edit the article to make room for photos. Or we could edit the photos. But the photos really tell the story. It's funny. I thought the story told the story. Okay. No compromise. Can you lose one paragraph? Sure. Can you live without Brandy's ass? Okay. But not cold turkey. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Susan here. Susie, hi, Claire. Listen, I know this is kind of last minute, but I was wondering if we could get together tonight. Oh, uh, tonight's not good. It's my friend's birthday. Why? What is it? Great news. We've narrowed it down to just you and one other girl. I knew I nailed the tumble tumble flare tumble. <laughs> now, we're going to announce the winner at halftime on Sunday, and I just had a terrific private with the other gal. Just too bad that you're not free tonight. You know what? For you, I can get free. Spoken like a true Cisco girl. Great. <clears throat> hey, Vic. Um, I'm so sorry, but uh, something came up and I'm not gonna be able to make it to your party tonight. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe a certain piece of paper with President Lincoln on it could make me feel better. <laughs> Wow, five bucks. I got off easy. Oh, I thought Liga was on the hundred. Oliver, can you keep a secret? Yeah. Okay. I went back to the callbacks. Claire just called. It's between me and one other girl. Tiffany, that girl can move. But zero personality. Claire said that I'm a very good dancer, and Claire also said that my smile sparkles. Claire also <laughs> claims to be 22, so I wouldn't believe everything she says. All right. I know Claire's a little over the top, but I need her if I'm going to go all the way. And between you and me, I think I'm ready to go all the way. Shh. Not so loud. That is how nice girls get bad reputations. <laughs> Well, I thought about filling it with other people's books and things, but that just seemed like stealing. Okay, Susan, humor is for the girls who didn't get the looks. Okay, let's start with the oral exam. <clears throat> Susan, why do you think you should be the next Cisco girl? Well, um, to be honest, I didn't make the cheerleading squad in high school, and I wanted to show those girls who rejected me that they were wrong. Excellent! That's why I did it! Oh, my God, Susie, you totally remind me of me, you know, before I started taking a real interest in how I look. Okay, for Sunday's game, you're gonna need at least an hour of hair and makeup, and you might want to consider these. No, thanks, I'm a vegetarian. No, 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 these are bra inserts. These puppies have been to two championship games. <laughs> I bet they're the envy of all their friends who just got to go to the prom. <laughs> you guys go upstairs, okay? I'm just gonna get some beer. It's okay. It's a little game Susan and I play when she's not home. <laughs> oh, you're home. I guess the rules changed. <laughs> uh, what are you doing back from Delaney so soon? 
Actually, they asked me to leave, okay? Apparently, mooning the bartender is a health code violation. <laughs> oh, God, how'd this fall out? No, 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 oh, no, 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 these are Susans, okay? And, and honey, sloppy drunks don't get the hunks. <laughs> honey, when you're sloppy drunk, they're all hunks. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Claire Tevens. I'm here to get Susan ready for her cheerleader debut. Keep your fingers crossed. Cheerleader debut? Oh, okay, I get it. So that's why you miss my birthday party, okay? So you can be with your new cheerleader friend, Claire Tevens. Well, for your information, I'm gonna go upstairs with my real friends, okay? You know that girl with the thing and the guy with the hair? And there's a guy I met at the bar named Dale who has little teeny teeth. <laughs> Hard to believe the friends you have on the way up, huh? I'm really sorry. We're gonna have to do this another time. I've got to straighten this out with Vicky. Susan, do you believe in fairy tales? Because right now, there's only one girl standing between you and this. Susie, how badly do you want it? so weird. I feel like we're the Olsen twins, all grown up and falling on hard times. Okay, this is the most important part. The walk to the field. This tunnel is like a birth canal. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I remembered it. <laughs> okay, Susan, what did we say about the jokes? They're for the ugly girls. Yeah. Okay, now when we reach the end of it, you will no longer be just any girl. You'll be a Cisco girl. Are you ready? I'm ready. I said, are you ready? I'm ready! <laughs> hey, Jerry, catch one for me today. <laughs> Come on, Susan, work it. Yeah, Jerry, you go. And, and go team in 38. Yeah, Bobby! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, sweet mother of God. What is it? <laughs> well, well, well. What do you know? <laughs> go ahead. I'll just need a second talk to talk to him. him. How do you know Nate? Hey, it's two. Two. Two girls in one. I, I, I work with him. I'm a writer at the gate. How do you know Nate? He's my ex-husband. Nate? Wait a minute. So she is who you have been accusing me of being exactly alike? Mm. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Let me have it. Nah, it's too easy. Mommy! Oh, oh careful, love bug. I'm all made up. Remember, smudges and smears gives mommy tears. Okay. <laughs> hey, Susan, this is my daughter, Alice. Allison, this is Susan from Hi. the office. Hi. Hey, listen, it's time to go upstairs and watch mommy cheer from the press box. Who's gonna race me up the stairs? Hi. <laughs> Hi. that Nate's your ex-husband. Yeah, God, poor guy. Still hasn't gotten over the fact that I dumped him. Oh, just drives me crazy, you know? I don't need to tell you. You work with him. Yeah, I mean, we don't always agree, but he's not a Don't worry, guy. don't worry, don't worry. You won't have to deal with him once you quit your silly magazine gig. <laughs> I just imagine you a writer. I mean, when you got the Cisco girl intangible? Oh. <laughs> All right, now, Susan, let's go! No, 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 no. I, I don't think I can do this. Oh, sure you can. It's up, up, down, down, shoulder bump, shoulder bump. No, 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 no. I've made a terrible mistake. Listen, Susan, you cannot back out on me. I've put my surgically altered butt on the line for you. I just, I just don't have what it takes. And you can keep your Cisco girl intangibles. too much to drink, but I swear to God, there was a cheerleader in your apartment. Oh, a cheerleader. Boy, you really did have a lot to drink. 
But the important thing is that I finally gave you a piece of jewelry for your birthday that you really liked. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey. Hi. So you bailed on the cheerleading thing, huh? Yeah. You know, cold feet. I'll bet Claire loved that. So, uh, I'm guessing she trashed me pretty badly. No, not really. She took it pretty hard when I cut her loose. Yeah, that's pretty much what she said. Hey, Nate, we missed you at poker yesterday. Well, your money, not your wit. <laughs> I couldn't come. I was at the game with my daughter. Oh, hey, that's the game where they're supposed to announce the new cheerleader. Oh, that's right. Was it Carrie with the abs of iron, or was it Betty with the buns of steel? Actually, uh... I don't really cover cheerleading. I, I write about sports, not sideshows. See? There's the wit we didn't miss yesterday. <laughs> Susan, this is great. Divine Secrets of the Ra Ra Sisterhood. It's the best thing you've written. Thank you. But the, uh, the photos really made the whole thing come together. Well, there were photos, huh? I didn't notice. Yeah. They really complimented the writing. I guess you could say we make a pretty good team. Well, I'm keeping an open mind. Great, now I gotta hurl. <laughs>